Hi, my name is Reiko Tahara. I'm an independent filmmaker from Brooklyn, New York, and the co-organizer of the Unoport Art Films. Unoport Art Films, or UPAF, is a not-for-profit annual international summer screening series that we started last year in Okayama, Japan. Its aim is to share the power of film as an art form regardless of genres, and its theme is life art films. We want to show powerful films from around the world that reflect the creator's lives. Please support to make the second UPA this August another amazing experience for us, for our audience, and for the participating filmmakers. The other co-organizer is Max Uesugi, my husband and the filmmaking partner who lives in Japan now. Our 13-year-old daughter, Moye, helps us a lot too. And it is only possible thanks to many local residents, artists, and companies who kindly donate the manpower, goods, and space for us. We do UPA for several reasons. One is because as independent filmmakers, we know how hard it is to keep showing your work. UPAF is organized by the filmmakers to celebrate works by fellow filmmakers which were made from their hearts and often highly appreciated in festivals, museums, and communities but are not commercially saturated. We want to help the talented indie filmmakers by bringing their important works to this unexpected place. Two is because we believe in the healing power of film. We are fortunate to know wonderful youth media organizations in the US and Japan. They work day and night to empower the minority and disadvantaged youth by teaching video making. I also know many amazing college-age filmmakers through my own teaching at universities. So we developed a youth program at UPA with help of those wonderful media educators to bring the underrepresented but important voices of the teens and young people they come from the inner cities of New York or LA, a campus town of Philadelphia, a refugee camp of Kenya, a suburb of Japan, a Pueblo of Colombia, etc. They made films to express, create, and connect, and we want to help them to expand their world further through their art. Three is because Tamano City, where the Unoport is located, is a rural town of 70,000 people and people have no access to art films. It is a town made of natural beauty and decays of economic slumps. There are no universities, no movie theaters. It's just not fair, we feel, that for the people in Tamano, it is very difficult to watch anything other than Hollywood and commercial movies on DVDs. So we hand deliver art films and help democratize the indie media distribution in the world. Four is because we have a unique mix of audience at the Unoport. Besides the local residents, we also have international museum goers who come to the region to visit the world-famous Naoshima art site, 20 minutes away by a ferry ride, and the film-loving, cultured people from other Japanese cities. The Nese Foundation, the owner of many museums and art sites, and who is responsible for the contemporary art movement in the region, has given us a three-year grant starting from last year. So that makes us proud of what we are trying to do. UNO is actually slowly reviving through contemporary art movement because of its proximity to the Naoshima Island. Galleries and music spaces are shooting up and artists are moving in. We would love to contribute to the revival of the city by creating this special borderless space filled with creative energy. And five, which was actually the original motivation was because Max had to relocate to his hometown near Unoport in 2009 for our next documentary project and for the economy of our family. He had a beautiful house there that his late parents left for him and started a guest house called Uno Slope House for international museum visitors. It has become a vibrant art community since and his pancakes has become quite known to the world. So Upa, in a sense, is an effort to turn otherwise not so fun long distance marriage into a positive joint adventure. As we connect our distant lives in New York and in Tamano, we thought we can connect a whole bunch of other people from around the world as well. We do Skype Q&A with filmmakers from every corner of the world, and it's so amazing that we can connect in this way now. We hope that our life-sized efforts like this can contribute to the grassroots movement 
to break the stereotypes often carried in mass media and also to bring the non-existent into existence by bringing their work. We think this is the right direction of our globalization. Last but not least, UPAF this year has a very special meaning in view of the recent catastrophe in Japan. Although Okayama is in the southwest and is safe, many people, including myself, have family members and friends in north of Tokyo, the area greatly affected by the earthquake and the radiation disaster. The truth to my eyes is that entire Japan has been suffering from the economic and spiritual trauma and people are drained. Max's guest house has been affected as well and we actually debated whether we can do UPAF this year or not. But we decided to do it because Japanese people need healing power of art more than ever now. We have a few special programs devoted to the nuclear issues this year so that people can come and talk rather than staying home alone and depressed. And we also have beautiful films totally unrelated so that people can take a break. 20% of our ticket sales will be donated to the recovery efforts in the north. So your contribution not only helps us, but helps the struggling young and minority filmmakers in the world and also the Japanese people suffering from this unprecedented event. Regarding what kind of wonderful and thought-provoking films we have shown last year and will show this year, please visit our website and please like our Facebook page. Thank you very much for listening and we look forward to hearing from you.